Hey guys, I just wanted to tell you about this uh, hookah system that I made for uh, scuba and it's just out of ordinary stuff you can get at um, Harbor Freight and Home Depot. Uh, I am not certified in scuba, never claimed to be, but I do have a boat and I uh, thought it would be cool to have something to go down and clean the bottom and not have to uh, hold my breath or um, come up for air like every two seconds. So I looked into it and um, you know this can be really done for not more than about a hundred and hundred and eighty dollars or so I'm gonna say I'm gonna show you what I have here um, I went to Harbor Freight and uh, I got a one gallon I did a little research and I found that a one gallon um, compressor ultra quiet and it has to be oilless no oil um, is really what you need. So, um, Harbor Freight has these for about $130 or so, and um, so it's it is actually really quiet. I'll show you. Let me let some of the air out. It's pressurized right now. Okay, so it's completely depressurized. Um, so you will need an air filter. So also from Harbor Freight. Uh, you can pick up one of these air filters. I put quick quick connects on either side, uh, so that'll that really just quick connects right in. Sorry, sorry about the video. I'm trying to hold it at the same time. Okay. So we've got uh, the air compressor into um, the air filter. And then into a hose that wasn't. I got a hose from from there that wasn't very oily, wasn't very rubbery. Because you know, if you're breathing this in, you don't want to be sucking in like nasty, you know, nasty rubber smell. So the hose. This is a 50 foot hose, and it was about uh, I don't know, maybe 22 bucks or something like that. Um, if you smell it, it's not too rubbery. I tested it out last night in. Um, a little hot tub in the backyard and it was absolutely fine. This regulator, this is like a $25 regulator that you can get on Amazon. It ha You have to get a uh, stage 2 regulator because the PSI has to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 30, 80, 90 PSI. A first stage regulator in scuba is something like 3000 PSI so um, that's not what we're talking about at all here. Um, this second stage regulator from Amazon, uh, it's got little Chinese write, uh, letters on it. So it is made in China, but it actually worked fine last night as a relief valve. Um, and the problem was when I got it was this, uh, the connector. It actually came with an end and I, maybe it's, maybe it's a standard connector in, um, in, uh, you know, in scuba land or whatever, but I couldn't fit it anywhere. It was strange to me. So what I ended up doing, uh, this is the, uh, this is the connector it came with. It actually came with a, uh, barb, but on this, on the screw end, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely not NPT. In other words, national pipe thread or anything standard. So, I was at a loss. I tried a lot of different fittings. Um, it looks maybe to be about an eighth inch or so. What I ended up doing? Cut. I just cut the damn thing. I said, screw it. From Home Depot, all I did was get a barb fitting, um, you know, about this about this size. It was like an eighth inch barb, uh, but it comes out to a quarter inch um, national pipe thread. That's MIP mail uh, and then whatever IP stands for and that actually worked out perfectly it was the perfect size to fit into um, onto the Harbor Freight hose that you can see right here okay it's just a barb with a hose clamp and um, that that barb fit perfectly into uh, this regulator that I got from um, off Amazon really wasn't that expensive and right into the uh, quarter inch hose so how does the whole thing work actually worked out really well let me pressure it up and you can hear how quiet this is too 
I mean, it says on here, um, ultra quiet. Yeah, it's like 56 decibels or something, which actually is like nothing. I mean, I've got a, one of those uh, Honda generators, the uh, 2000 EU, and I thought that was quiet. This thing is crazy quiet. It's awesome. So it pressurizes really fast. And when I was when I was underwater last night, I found that that I had the PSI set for somewhere around maybe about 70. And being underwater, maybe by about three feet, um, I felt I felt. I, I really had to um, pull the air in a bit, so I've increased the pressure to about 90 psi, and that should be um, totally sufficient. So uh, the amount of cubic feet per cubic feet uh, per minute at 0.7 actually is plenty, absolutely plenty for for one diver. I don't know how it would be for two if you split it, but for one it was absolutely fine. So you can see. Time I'm, uh, I take, I suck in air. It's, you know, it's it's hardly knocking anything off the um, reserve in the tank. So anyway, as I said, this whole thing can be put together for probably about $180 or so. Um, it is a hookah system. It's not professional. So I think the limits on this are maybe down to 33 feet or so. And you know, after that, you really should be certified and have tanks. Um, Anyway, okay, uh, I hope this is helpful. This is my little um, hookah setup so I can uh, clean the bottom of my boat and, you know, maybe swim around underneath for uh, down to 20 feet or so. Okay, thanks for watching.